Hello guys, welcome to Air Tycoon Online 2, episode 5 on the Star Channel. Um, today is going to be a p interesting episode, I guess. I'm just going to be discussing some of the things going on um, in the channel so far. As you can see, my net profit is reaching decent levels, 500,000 on a down tick. Um, that means I would guess about 700,000 on an up tick. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to do pretty well. Uh, as you can see, I've climbed myself up to 25th, um, steadily overtaking uh, one or two positions every uh, every few turns. And as you can see, this is the first time where the gap above me is significant. Um, so from now on, I'll only be ticking up maybe once or twice every day. Uh, but as you can see, I'm still uh, slowly climbing up the leaderboards. Now, uh, something interesting is happening, and as you can see, my company value is 25 million, and I already have 7 million just stored up in cash. Now, as you guys know, this money stored up in cash is not making me any money at all. Um, you really want to be using all the money you possibly can be um, in airplanes, airports, whatever, something, um, so that it's multiplying up and becoming worth more than it was originally. Um, but... As you can see, I'm no longer, thanks to, you know, university and stuff like that, able to keep up with my profit on the weekends, at least, especially using Illusion 62M only. Um, as you can see, I even bought uh, a few 747-200s um, so I could make some pretty fun routes, like, um, for example, uh, Cebu to Paris and then a stopover to... I think Santiago, oh, Santiago was taken. Well, that wasn't taken earlier today, but um, yeah, I want to make this video and show me making that route, so I'm gonna have to settle for a less good route, I guess, but that is fine. Yes, ever since the seven, uh, hmm, did I click the wrong airport in Rome? Uh, yeah, ever since the 747, um, 200 came out, uh, a lot of the longer range routes are slowly being snapped up. What? I'm almost certain I selected the correct airport. Oh, it's the second airport, isn't it? That's what it is. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, basically, a lot of the really nice long-range routes are being snapped up. Of course, I'm not really interested in competing with the really direct, great routes. Like, for example, I might be able to have snagged, for example, Houston to... Uh, Houston to Beijing or something like that, um, which of course would be a fantastic route, um, but I wouldn't be interested because I'm almost certain a route like that would pick up competition. Now, a route like Rome to Santiago will probably eventually pick up competition anyway, um, but it's pretty fun to have them for now. Um, they are indeed pretty good routes, so yeah. Um, anyways, as you can see, I'm still of course struggling to find more good routes as you can see using Santiago to Rome um, I have to pick something in this you know side of the earth to use for my next stop but I can't really find anything like something like Guam to Athens is surprisingly in range but is that really worth it with Guam being not a good city and all that kind of stuff so not really so at the end of the day it's still really really hard to find any significantly good routes which can ex use the extra range and the extra size of the 747. Um, but yeah, as I find the routes, you'll see me using those occasionally. It just helps me actually ma manage to use all the money I have um, because it's very difficult to, you know, use just illusions to burn through as much, uh, almost, what, 500k a turn, so... Anyways, uh, let's see if we can keep finding more routes. So yeah, basically, what I was thinking of doing um, in order to basically prevent myself from ending up in this situation now where a large portion of my value ends up as just cash, not doing anything, is I could start buying more expensive planes and already starting to replace my smaller planes. This will lower the ratio of my profitability, so basically... For example, my company right now might be growing 4.5% of its value every turn, um, meaning that every single turn I gain 
my value is multiplied by 1.04, for example, <coughs> and it might drop to 1.03 or 1.02 if I were to use larger aircraft, um, but that's still worth it if it's multiplying off a larger number because uh, because I've spent more of my money. Uh, so, yeah. That, what I just said didn't make sense. Um, I should have said it quite differently. Um, basically, what I said is that uh, multiplied by my value. I should have said multiplied by the amount of value I have spent, basically. Because, you know, you can't just create value out of nothing. It has to come from somewhere. So, I would have had to have spent, but like, cash I made. <laughs> um, so, I meant a larger portion of the cash. Oh, what, what, whatever, just fuck... I can't fucking speak for some reason. Um, anyways, I am having a lot of trouble finding good routes, as you can see. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of cities in the USA I can use. I can use Phoenix, actually. Um, I always find that Phoenix is always a very, very decent city, but seems to be forgotten even by me. Uh, like, as you can see, the the business and tour combined is well over... Um, or well over 600, basically 700 even. Um, so I could really consider using that as one of my cities, but uh, I have the very annoying problem of nowhere to land in Asia Itis. I will use Bangkok. Bangkok is not great, but Marseille is okay. Um, so, you know, I might even just do Phoenix because I have nowhere else to use. There are more 700 cities in Asia, meaning like. I think, let me count, Seoul, Seoul 1, Beijing 2, Tokyo 3, uh, Shanghai 4, Guangzhou 5, Hong Kong 6, Kuala Lumpur, and Singapore make 8. There are 8 major, <coughs> eight major airports in Asia. There's, how many major airports are there in Europe? There's only 3 or maybe 4 depending on the size of Moscow. And up to six if you include Amsterdam and Frankfurt as a 700. Um, it's usually shoddy, so it's not always like Amsterdam, Moscow, and um, what's the last one? Frankfurt are not always 700. Uh, Paris, Rome, and London usually always are, are 700 or more um, business and tour at this stage of the game. Uh, so Europe has the least amount of large cities. And North America has the second most, I think, let me count, uh, there's five major ones that come to mind, being Los Angeles, Houston, uh, Atlanta, Chicago, and New York, which are usually consistently um, above 700. And then you have Phoenix, Boston, um, and San Francisco as close seconds, where if you have a better world, they do reach 700 at this stage of the game. And that is the case for me. I have a slightly better world. Um, so actually, if I want, I could be using um, Phoenix uh, and San Francisco right now. I don't I haven't even made a single slot request in San Francisco. I haven't had to yet. Um, which is, oh, that's out of range. Uh, well, I can't use Burn, which is unfortunate because Burn to Phoenix would have been a decent route. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I can just do like the kind of shitty ones like Southampton and stuff like that. Um, basically, yeah, wow, I'm really starting to cover almost everything. I'm starting to lose choice, eh? Like, that's the last time I'll ever be able to use Southampton for a stopover route, for example. Yeah, I have a feeling in this world will be the first world I've ever played where I can't make new routes for the legitimate reason where I cannot find any more routes which suit even lower standards for the quality of the route. Um, oh, I can make a route to London. Uh, my favorite, uh, route to London. Fuck it. <laughs> I really don't know how to pronounce Is it actually pronounced fuck it? Because that's pretty funny, I guess. But no, not really, I guess. A lot of languages have different syllables and stuff which sound like each other and might, might just happen to sound like swear words. And that's perfectly fine. But I don't know why. I just feel weird saying fuck it. It sounds like I'm saying fuck. I, yeah, it just, wow. Okay, I should stop. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, see, all these cities I have slot requests for here is the problem is there's a lot more small cities on this side of London 
uh, like towards the freaking west of London than there is to the east, um, which makes it really difficult to make to use all the cities on the on the west basically. Uh, so yeah, I hope I hope I'm able to eventually get most of those. Um, ooh, Alms is actually in range, but I didn't realize that I needed slots there. Um, I don't. S oh no, Leon, that's just that there is a line there. I see Bordeaux, um, but I think there's nothing on this side which I can use. I'm pretty sure Hong Kong is out of range. Yeah, it is. Um, but I think I could go this way. Uh, Bordeaux to Atlanta doesn't have enough slots. Um, but just for example's sake, let me try this. Uh, Bordeaux to Boston to somewhere in South America. I'm not sure it'll have enough range. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So that's a good idea, but I guess the ranges aren't long enough. The only things near the tip of South America which would have enough range are tiny. Um, so unfortunately that doesn't work. Of course, there will be a lot more possibilities for this, for example, once the 767s come out, um, because then you'll be able to easily reach far away, um, far away locations. So, yeah, like all these routes would be possible and quite easy to do with 767s, which only have slightly more range, but it really does unlock a lot more routes because the lower range routes, which of course I'm doing now, are easily competable with other aircraft so um, once the the first smaller longer range aircraft that come out really do um, make the game more interesting I guess uh, I'm gonna get slots in Volgrad you know what I'm so desperate for more cities I need uh, I need basically just more and more cities in Europe right now um, I did get Boston back uh, so that's nice I'm gonna get some slots in San Francisco I'm not sure how useful it will be the problem with San Francisco is it's too far from Eastern Europe. Um, you're really only close to Western Europe, and what that makes it what the problem with that is the cities. A lot of the cities in Western Europe, like around here, can't make it to most of the cities in Asia, so you can't complete the stopover route, which is why I don't have slots in San Francisco yet. They're actually pretty difficult to use. Um, Let's see, Beirut, you know, I'll, I'll do Beirut too, you know, it's probably worth it to do Beirut to the larger cities, um, the larger cities in North America, uh, hmm, and as you can see, it's still like 17 illusions, 62, I've been recording for probably over 20 minutes, and I've managed to use like 10 aircraft, uh, it's, it's really difficult to, <coughs> it's really difficult to manage to make new routes. As you can see, I'm struggling to find each individual route. It's taking a long time already. Um, maybe I'll do Kathmandu, see whatever cities I haven't done to Kathmandu and do uh, certain Europe to North America. Um, yeah, as you can see, these routes work too, but look at look at Frankfurt. It's tiny. Um, this, is, this isn't even worth it because it'll be a terrible route in the future. Um, assuming, of course, that Frankfurt doesn't somehow become a large city, but yeah. Like, making a route like this... Ah, uh, fuck, there's only two slots in San Antonio. Man, I don't want to do Albuquerque, even. Like, it's just too bad. Like, a route like this isn't really worth it. Like, Frankfurt is only 600. To put it in perspective, Frankfurt is smaller than Charlotte. And how many people, besides, you know, people who play this game or know geography decently well, even have heard of Charlotte? But, um, yeah. <laughs> That is so annoying. Uh, I think I think my Amsterdam is decent, so I'm gonna check that out. Oh, I took Wieland, so I can make a route to London. So let's do that. Um, I'm just gonna check Amsterdam, but I gotta do this first before I forget about it. Um, yeah, as you can see, I love my London routes. <clears throat> so I'll do uh, to I don't is that even a J to Gilo? How do you, how do you say that? I don't know. Um, all right. So yeah. This is, as you can see, basically what you do in this game all the time. You just make routes, select the things. Um, I might make a stopover guide and try and explain exactly 
how I'm doing my stopovers, leave a comment if you're listening and you're interested. Um, because I would like to see what people need to know about stopovers. Because, I, first of all, I don't think that many players know the extent of the usefulness of stopovers. Um, because I don't see most players having the same kind of, of situation as me where a significant, significant proportion of your my routes are stopovers like um i think for me it was like i'll usually have i don't know say 800 say if i have, I have 800 planes i'll have 1500 routes so i only have about 100 of my planes not on stopovers and they're usually the cargo and the tupelo routes i make at the beginning um and i really don't know how how do you guys play like is there a way to play which is more effective for a essentially or low credit using player? Like I only use the credits to unlock the slot requests, um, so this game is reasonable to play. Um, without unlocking all the slot requests and stuff like that, this game is, I would call it unreasonable to play. Well, my grease is large. Um, my Greece, my Athens. Look at that. I haven't noticed, but it's almost 700. So I might focus on making a lot of routes to Greece. Um, also, a lot of it is in the tour values. And for some reason, I find that that's usually a little, little bit better um, for my routes. Maybe it's because of my seating class arrangement or something like that. But who knows? Um, or maybe it's just because I always underestimate Greece because... Um, it's the only, it's one of the few cities where consistently one of those numbers, um, one of the business and tour numbers is almost twice as large as the other one. Um, so it's probably kind of deceptive the way it's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Um, so yeah, uh, that's basically all I have to say, but I'm probably just gonna, you know, keep recording and make a few more routes. I hope I don't let my phone fill up completely and get a corrupted episode, because I've kind of enjoyed doing this, um, just, oh, I haven't, this video's not even 20 minutes long, I don't have to worry about running out of space or something yet, um, because I'm, I've kind of been enjoying this episode, just making routes, chilling and talking to myself, uh, while my roommate is not here, uh, yeah, it feels good, um, I'm, I, I'm a strange person, I really like to be isolated a lot of the time, but I also don't mind company, but sometimes I'm in company. Um, yeah, basically, I'm an introvert. I prefer to be alone most of the time. Um, there's select times where I don't mind company, as I've said before. But I'm not sure. I oddly like being alone. There's nothing to be... You don't have to be self-conscious about the way you're behaving. So you can kind of just, you know, take it easy. Um, act the way you kind of want to act. And a bit stupid, a bit goofy. You know, talk to yourself in a video and don't have to think about being judged because nobody's listening to you right now <laughs> at least i'm assuming that maybe one person on the internet maybe more will even hear this um i have no idea i have no idea how much my videos are watched um i know youtube analytics tells me the average view length is like two and a half minutes two minutes something like that to be honest that's much better than i thought because I have a feeling probably around two-thirds or more of the views are just Arrhenius clicks anyway. So people will click the video and realize they're not interested and click away within five, ten seconds. I'd say two-thirds of the views are probably from something like that. Um, so, yeah. I'm really running out of things to say. So, yeah. Oh, Moscow is pretty big, too. I have been ignoring all these slightly big cities. I seriously got to start taking advantage of this because I'm running out of the other style of routes. So I guess I'll be doing this for a while, um, but I really think it's probably time to do off camera now. As you can see, I'm low battery and it's, I'm starting to get hungry for dinner. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys next time.